previously on Aki and D. The party managed to defeat the goblin captor of our new friend, Sildar Hallwinter, and rescue him as well as his cellmate, who is a per peculiar elven seeming woman who seems a little unfamiliar with even the most basic customs and norms of society. Um, they quickly proved to be a formidable ally. Um, yeah, she uh, assisted with clearing the rest of the Kragma hideout. Um, Grantham discovered a love of both unarmed combat and his new wolf companions. Uh, the party was able to bring stolen goods from the cave back to the nearby town of Phandalin and deliver the goods to um, both the um, Barthens provisions and the Lion Shield coster, which is another uh, general store in town. When you guys finally arrived in Phandalin, uh, you were able to meet up with a few more members of the Order of the Platinum Dragon in the names of Treasurer William Wiggins, Custodian Harold Higgins, and Squire Martin Rosehart. And after delivering goods to their intended destinations, collecting payment, uh, you guys went to the inn for some celebratory drinks where you began to hear all sorts of interesting rumors. Um, there was uh, an old farmer was saying that there's uh, someone by the name of Sister Gariel who oversees the Shrine of Luck in town. There's a... Uh, I think a half-elf man named Darren Edermath, who runs the local orchard uh, and is apparently a former adventurer. There's a miner was saying something about orc raiders on the east end of the Tribor Trail and that the town master is looking for someone to run them off. There's um, Rylina, the innkeeper's wife, was saying that Thel Dendrar, a local woodcarver, stood up to the Red Brand um, bandits 10 days ago and they murdered him and basically kidnapped his wife and daughter. And now everyone is very afraid to stand up to these bandits in town because that seems to be the the common most uh, pressing matter in town. Uh, there's even the innkeeper and his wife, their son, Pip, uh, was as named uh, Carp, said he found a secret tunnel in the woods, but uh, and that saw some ugly bad guys coming out of it. And then there was a weaver that said that the bandits hassle everyone in town, uh, except for the Fandolin Miners Exchange, because they don't want trouble with uh, Halia Thornton, I think was her name. But uh, yeah, so. You guys all turned in for the night at uh, the Stonehill Inn is where you guys are. And yeah, you guys had a good night of drinking and then turned in for the night. And yeah, that's uh, I guess where you are now. So you've got some some places around town that you could explore. You got some options. But uh, yeah, what do you guys want to do? Let's see. Um, is that going to be... Okay. Yeah, so you guys are in Fandolin now. There's the... Uh, yeah, and you're at the Stonehill Inn. What y'all want to do? I'd like to do... <clears throat> My daily ritual in the morning, which is prayer and working out. Fair. I say we keep drinking. No, I'm kidding. Um, I think we should perhaps uh, try and investigate the the red brands and uh, fuck up their shit because um, yeah, that was really unkind of them. I am wholeheartedly I'm not down. against criminals being criminals, but you know, we got to get those bandits. Yeah, like, I mean, if you're going to be a criminal, steal from rich people, you know? Mm. <clears throat> yeah, and I think to that point, um, last night I was <clears throat> guided to the Uttermath Orchard to talk to Narth. I think it was about that. Um, so for flavor, I'm just going to 
get directions because <laughs> I drank a lot. Fair. Um, do you guys have the? Are you guys looking at the town of Fandolin map in your thing? Because I think I can even. Yeah, I have it open. Make it so that. Oh yes, I think I've already put it in everyone's journals too. Oh. I, th I think you guys are able to bring up your, the journal tab. Ooh. Yep. And then I think there should be a map there. So no matter what tab we're on, you guys can always look at this uh, this map and like bring it up oh, there nice. that way. Very nice. nice. Yeah. <clears throat> so that just shows everything in town. And then, um, yeah, so there's the Edermath Orchard uh, is up on the northwest side of Fandolin. It's just like a little apple orchard, I think, that they used to make the local ciders and stuff that they serve at the at the inn actually um yeah did you sorry did you guys want to go to the orchard then um let's I think see what's so, going on. if that's okay with everyone yeah, yeah that's, that was my that intent. sounds about right i can't remember if it was the farm or the orchard but we can hit up the farm yeah yeah um or the orchard i'm honestly confused let's go wherever i'm going wherever you guys are going yeah, the, uh, the the orchard's the only thing I had written in my notes. Okay. <laughs> I feel like that was that was. I have, a, I have a farm here too, so mm -hmm. we can do that after the orchard. Okay. Um. Yeah. So as you guys are getting ready to head out into the Fandolin, um, I think it's the probably the the bartender. Um. I think uh, Tolbin to Toblin is the innkeeper. Toblin Stonehill and. Oh, yeah. uh, He's like, oh, hey guys. Um, I know you had the the other friend uh, with you, Mister Mister Hallwinter. I know he got up pretty early. He said he had some urgent business to take care of with uh, the town master here in um, Fandolin. So, if you're ever like wondering where he is, maybe like touch base with him too at some point during the day. He's he'll probably be over at the town master's hall, just down the the road there. But um, yeah. You need uh, directions anywhere, or need something to eat or a drink? Just let me know. All right, thank you. Thank you, sir. Yeah, no problem. So, uh, you guys are going out into Fandolin and going to Edermath Orchard. That's the orchard. What do we have? It uh, is yes. There's a tidy little cottage beside an apple orchard. Um, there is, um, it's the, yeah, home of Darren Edermath. He's, at this point, it's probably, you know, it's, um, pretty early in the morning, so I'd say he's probably out tending to the trees, like he's got his chores around the arch orchard that he's tending to. He's, um, a fit silver-haired half-elf, um, Knowing what you know about half elf folk, that he's and um, given his um, kind of age look, uh, he estimate that he's got to be well over a hundred years old. He uh, seems to be someone that could definitely take care of himself, and yeah, he is um, a farmer now in uh, Fandolin. Yeah, what uh, I guess are you going up to talk to him then? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah, so he'll um, he'll kind of is is pretty involved in what he's doing, but eventually, kind of notices you guys walking up the way. He's a very observant person, and um, he kind of stops and you know, slowly walks over to you. It's like, ah, good morning, folk. How can I help you today? So I'm so a little confused. Which thing was the fire? Which thing was at the uh, orchard? Sorry, um, what was what's the question? Uh, so, because like we got a bunch of information, and so I got confused with what was going on with the archer and what was going on with the farm. I, I think, think were, um, I, I think they were both just like weeds into. Yeah, there's there's like a whole bunch of little. There there are basically like mini quests yes. at all over the town. Um, yeah, I just wasn't sure what specific one because one of them was like someone's getting murdered and someone. I think the orchard is an adventurer that we're looking for, or we yeah, have heard of. A... Okay, yeah, yeah. So I is it that, this right? dude? Is it Darren? Yeah, 
Yeah, so this is, uh, he's um, one of the guys down at the bar that you were talking about, talking to last night, mentions that, um, yeah, if you guys are kind of hardy adventurer folk, then there is someone that uh, lives at the orchard that's also kind of like that, that used to be a bit of an adventurer like you guys, and that uh, maybe you guys could talk to him and, like, um, I don't know, see what he knows or discuss things of a common interest, maybe. Okay. Then, is, uh, yeah, see sorry, he, he is the adventurer or the adventurer is also there? Uh, yeah, this is the adventurer. He's yeah. like, yeah, he's <laughs> like, he definitely seems like he can handle himself. He's like, you can tell that he's like, you know, well built, like a fit half elf. All right, you can tell right. that, um, yeah, he's not someone to be messed around with. Hello there, good sir. Was it Darren again? Ah, yes. So you've you've heard of me yet? Because uh, yes, it's uh, Darren Niedermath. Yeah, we've it's, uh, heard a little bit about you at the end. We've also heard about bandits and maybe orcs attacking town. Have you heard anything about this? Uh, oh yes, yes. Okay. Um, we we best go inside. It's it's not good to talk openly against the bandits here in town. So. Yeah, come on, uh, into, uh, follow me into the into my cottage, and he'll um, lead you guys up to this nice, tidy little cottage there in the orchard, and it's like just a couple wooden steps up to a nice little porch with a chair, and going into this cozy cottage. It's actually pretty nicely decorated. There's like probably all sorts of little trinket uh, trophy kind of things, like. Maybe a, a nice sword, like a really nice looking elvish sword like on the mantle or fireplace and maybe like um, some like severed trophy heads or something and other little valuable trinkets here and there that just look like they are trophies from a lifelong of adventuring. But uh, yeah, and then um, he leads you in and lets you sit down in his um, little living room there and yeah he's very serious about it yeah. so these are very rough folk they're yeah they've been harassing our town for a few months now maybe uh i don't know where they where they came from or what they're after but yeah they are definitely a problem and it's it's uh it's bad because uh, I'm a, um, yeah, so I am Darren Edermath. I served as a marshal and herald for many years in the Dragon Coast. It's uh, far to the southeast of here. Um, Neverwinter was my original home, so when I retired, I thought I'd come back here, open a farm and stuff like that, and try to settle down. But, of course, these, these like, ruffians, they keep... They keep coming and it's hard to turn your back on stuff like this. Tell me about it. I'm getting a little old for this kind of uh, stuff. I'm trying to settle down, live a quiet life, but um, you guys look like you might be able to handle yourselves and I could, um, I could maybe give you a, like a couple pointers or something. Maybe, maybe help you out along, along the way if, um, if you're interested in trying to, you know, deal with this problem that this little town has. Yeah, tell us how we can help. Um, yeah, so there's, as I'm sure you know, there's someone that, uh, there's people that have tried to stand up to them and have been killed in the streets. Uh, and, um, yeah, someone needs to take a stand against their leader, I think would be the best the best way of um, going about this. Um, no one knows who they are for sure, just that they their leader goes by a code name, by the name of Glass Staff. And um, yeah, I, I know these bandits really like to hang around the Sleeping Giant Tap House. Uh, it's like a really seedy bar a little further into town kind of more headed towards the east end uh i can't say for certain but um i'm pretty sure the more eastward you go the more 
bandit activity you tend to see. So in my experience with adventuring and stuff like that, I have a pretty safe bet that I think they're probably holed up somewhere in the old Tracender Tracendar Manor on the very far east of town. It's this uh, dilapidated old mansion up on the hill uh, just east of town. And uh, yeah, I think they're either holed up there or maybe in the basement of that of what the remains of that old manor. But uh, yeah, I'd say that's be a good place to start um, checking for their hideout anyway. Although it's uh, definitely might not be an easy task. It's probably going to be well guarded. Lots of bandits in there if, uh, you know, if my hunch is correct. So maybe ask around a little more other people, see what uh, everyone else knows. Just so mm. you're not going in completely blind, but... Um, <laughs> Yeah, that's that's my guess anyway. And uh, yeah, I think if you can do something with those bandits and take out their leader, I think the rest of them should just scatter and be yeah, unorganized and eventually just disperse. But uh, yeah, how you handle it, um, I will leave it in your hopefully capable hands. Um, I don't want to promise anything too much either, but um, being a former member of um, the uh, with the um, Dragon Coast um, as like a Marshal and Herald, I do know some people of the Order of the Gauntlet, and I think if some of you are up to this task, I I think some of you could easily, you know maybe enter the ranks of that guild. Hmm. But I leave this all entirely up to you. Darren, very well met. Thank you so much. You know, I'm from around Neverwinter myself. I oh, just okay. had one more question. Do you yes. know anything about this Trensendar Manor? Um, I think it's, um... Like, maybe who... You say it's dilapidated and abandoned? Yeah, so... Is there any knowledge I mean, of, like, the Transcendars or whoever might have lived there beforehand? Uh -huh. Possibly. You know, um, it was a very old town here. Like, this is... Like, the Phandalin that we see here and now is just in the... Really just starting to come back from the ruins of the old Phandalin from... I know, um... I can't remember how long ago it was, but, um, yeah, there was a, um, Aldith Tresendar, I believe was a great knight that, uh, used to live here. And yeah, the, the Tresendars lived in that, um, manor. And, uh, yeah, he was just a, he was a great knight. And, um, I think when the orcs passed through here, they, um, uh, no one really knows what became of Aldith, but um, yeah, I think uh, I think that was the last anyone saw of him. And uh, yeah, everything just kind of was destroyed when the orcs passed through, so. But uh, yeah. It's um, just a the um, manner of a um, well-known knight. Okay, I'm gonna stand up and reach out to shake his hand. And uh, thank you, sir. You've been very helpful. Of course. Yes, hey, thank you, Darren. You. Sir Eric Valenhart, by the way. Appreciate it. Pleasure to meet you. Good to meet you all. I'm glad to see that there are hopefully some good folk finally in town willing to stand up to these troublemakers. It always pains me to see it. You live a, a life of trying to fight these folk, but it never goes away. So it's good to know that there's still people out there fighting the good fight. And uh, yeah, he shakes each of your hand in turn. And it's uh, best of luck to you all. Thank you. Yeah. All right. Um, yeah, was there anything else you guys 
wanted to do in here, or...? I want to give Darren some of my berries from my my little foraging pouch. Oh, okay. <laughs> here you go. Thank you so much, Darren. He, like, graciously accepts them, and, like, kind of, like, bows his head and stuff as he, like, has his arms out and accepts them, and it's like, thank you very much. It's like... I feel like he's probably trying to... He knows this is, like, maybe the the most that you can do. And he's, like, trying to be very appreciative of it. Because he maybe thinks that you guys are, like, absolutely broke. And this is, like, your <laughs> way of thanking him. I mean, he's not wrong. <laughs> it's not far from the truth. <laughs> Found these on the ground on the way here. <laughs> they're good berries. Trust me, they're good. I think that this is a material plane custom, so I'll offer some of my Feywild berries, but I forget to mention that they are from the Feywild. Okay. Um. I've never seen berries like that in my life. I wonder if... I just wanted to roll a d20 and see what... Um... <laughs> for um, Darren to see if he would notice the difference. And he rolled a nat one. <laughs> oh, shit, Darren. <laughs> so this motherfucker thinks we just gave him gold. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so what on earth are these? <laughs> Jackpot. <laughs> They're berries. Let's fantastic looking berries never seen something so beautiful thank you so much truly oh, okay. well thank you very much for um yeah um visiting and uh i hope you good luck but uh, i really must be getting back to my tending to the orchard here but uh please if you need anything else don't uh feel free to stop by you know Hmm. Believe you did. Now we bid him adieu. Okay. All right. Yeah. So, should we go to the Sleeping Giant Inn? Maybe. Should we go straight to the manor? He did mention asking some other people around town this is true <laughs> there's so. also seedy people at the sleeping giant sounded more like a bar than an actual inn true what i mean about... i feel like that's a pretty good lead on the bandit so we might I feel like we don't have to go to the farm at this point unless y'all really want mm -hmm. to well maybe we should go to the inn and then depending on what we learn there we'll go to the farm I like that idea. Also, what were those berries that you had? They're just, they're berries from the Feywild. Um, that may or may not be why, uh, uh, Sally's character, Grantham, right? Grantham I believe so, yeah. character, right? I believe, yeah. I was like, there's so many fucking characters here. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I wrote them all down. <laughs> and, you, and you laughed if I know. <laughs> I know. Uh, <laughs> uh, I think that may or may not be why Grantham is still sleeping, actually. Now that I think about it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> all right. Uh, nobody parties like the Fae. I will say that. No offense. Makes sense. So, yeah, right, are, well, yeah, where are you guys uh, going? I, I think we're going ahead? to the Sleeping Giant. Yeah, we yeah. can head there. Alrighty. So, what do we got for that? <clears throat> so, yeah, you guys take a bit of a stroll down the, uh, the street of Phandalin. There's really only like the two main streets. There's a couple side streets that so takes like maybe five, ten minutes to really walk from one end of town to the other. It's very small, but um, 
as you walk from the town center, like the town green and all that, um, Stonehill in, going eastward, you notice some of the houses are getting a little more and more run down. You know, the um, rebuilding of Phandalin hasn't quite stretched this far yet. Um, and eventually you get to this just kind of gross looking inn. You can see like there's, you know, the firelight from inside the the glass windows, but the windows are so like just kind of greased over that you really can't even see in. The uh, doors and everything are barely on their hinges. And, um, yeah, there's, uh, um, it is a ramshackle tap room. It's at the east end of town. And there's, uh, just, yeah, all sorts of, I'll bring up a bit of a map for it. Let's see. Um. Yeah, actually, no, well, um, not yet. Um, it's just kind of like, yeah, just an average bar, but like everyone in it is very, like, loud and boisterous, like clanking their uh, tankards together really loudly and arguing about really nothing here and there. Um, I'm just gonna tell you that. And yeah, there's, you can barely hear anything really with, it's just like a whole mix and like a whole mishmash of all sorts of noises of, yeah, arguing, laughing, clanking. There might be a bit of a band, but you can't really tell. You can't even hear if the waiters and like servers are what they're saying. And um, yeah, so as you walk in, there's um, a table pretty, like, dead center um, between the door and the bar that is, like, right in your line of sight and you're right in their line of sight and you just kind of see um, there's four human ruffian kind of people. They're just all, like, huddled around a um, this uh, table. And they're all wearing like these really grimy scarlet coats. Um, their sullen stares kind of fix on you as you enter the um, enter the tavern, and it um, like, you can just tell that they are just having a, like a bit of a like they're noticing you and kind of talking in hushed tones with their um, with everyone else around the table and just like pointing out to you guys. And then, um, yeah, as you guys walk in, it's getting a little more and more like they're just keeping their eye on you until they're starting to stand up and approach you. <clears throat> and one of them just kind of walks over and spits on the ground. It's like, well, well, here's a whole pack of little puppies. What do you guys want? Here to bark at us. It's like, you guys new in town. Like, well, the way's out that way. On you go. I will bark at them. <laughs> <laughs> I think um, a couple of them start laughing and then it's like, yeah, there's a good dog now. Now get. It's like, gonna, go on. Gonna like sort of put my, hat, my head out to like stop her from barking. <laughs> it's like, <clears throat> look, gentlemen, there's no need for you to uh, approach us with such hostility. Sure, we can be civilized men here. Oh, I'm sure we can be civil. I bet you give us everything in that pack of yours there, fancy lad, and then, uh, yeah, I think uh, we can call this even. How many of them are there? Um, at this point, there are, like, four of them. Okay. <clears throat> well, sir, I believe you uh, may have some misunderstanding here. The possessions that are currently on my person that belong to me, if you feel like you can take them from me, you're more than willing to try. Otherwise, and this is an intimidation. Otherwise, I think you uh, would best get back to your table and enjoy your drinks. Okay. Um. Maybe we'll see. Yeah, roll an intimidation. Just, just let's see. Ah, 
Oh, oh shit. <laughs> my, my browser stopped responding. What happened? <laughs> I, got, I rolled a, not, a, not a natural 20, but I rolled a 20. Excellent. Nice, nice. Mm, where we got... Um... Is it? Do I have... <laughs> so for it's like subtly reach back to her dog for a fist bump <laughs> <laughs> just dabbing up the homies all right let's roll a the, the meme where like the kids stand there and everyone's behind them losing their shit <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> Erdak is very, very, very subtly having one of those moments. So, um... I'll say one of them's kind of, like, taken aback a little, and, like, just kind of, like, is at a loss for words of what to say, while the other one kind of will walk up to you and... Like give you a little bit of a shove and be like, "Oh, what'd you just say?" So I don't think you understand that. Like, what's happening here? And then, yeah. Um, you guys have any last thing to say? Well, I don't know how much we just. <laughs> well, where I come from, sir, we saw these sort of things outside and not inside, inside the uh, establishment. So if you care to join me, then. Uh... By all means, no. I should show him to the door. It's a beautiful day. Get some sunlight. And then he'll probably just say, it's like, you know what? I think we'll settle this right here, right now. And then they'll all just, you know, bar brawl ensues. And before he, before anything happens, can I roll something to knee him in the groin? <laughs> That's a serious question. <laughs> it will have to depend where your initiative comes in. Okay. So everyone can roll initiative. Oh, so I don't know if I mentioned that I have this, but uh, when we got to level two, any of you that are within five feet of me, I can use a reaction to impose disadvantage. You're being attacked. Nice. You're paladin, right? Yes. Yeah. And you're a noble, right? Yeah, yeah, I might, technically. Okay. I don't think I know what Aaron or Ben, your character's backgrounds are. Erdok screams like woodsman to me. Yeah. Oh, sorry. I didn't realize my mic was off. Um, yeah, Erdak is a ranger who lives in the woods. He used to be an acolyte, and his um, former temple village area where he lived was burnt down by he thinks these bandits. The same, you know, the same group of bandits. Yeah, and Shay is a fighter, um, folk hero background. Uh, was actually um, the reason I ended up like we ended up at the orchard um, was because Shay you grew up working on farms so he knew like so he sought the farmers out of the tavern asked them what happened but um, part of Shay's backstory is that he in this farming village um, helped train the peasantry into a militia to fend off bandits and <clears throat> tyrants and stuff like that so he already has a predisposition against bandits and bullies in general. Fair enough. I have a predisposition to uh, dislike incompetence. Mm -hmm. And um, I find these bandits incompetent. Well, mm -hmm. I'm excited for this to play out then. <laughs> yeah. That works out really well. Yeah, like a lot of my, <clears throat> a lot of like my characteristics and stuff are like, Defending like the common folk from others and stuff like that. 
So uh, I say we're all pretty much on the same page here. So I guess that actually brings us to Neth Nethea as um, the first of the initiative count. Before we get going, is this how we were set up? Because we, I think we just kind of <laughs> threw ourselves down. Yeah. Well, no, you guys threw yourselves down, and then I kind of was like, a couple of them around. Yeah, okay. like Merrick would be a little closer up, then the two of the guys would be a little okay. more towards you guys. Okay. And you'd so... Be like right behind. I'm gonna step forward. Um. I'm going to inflict wounds this guy. Okay. I want to be clear, in the event that I roll very well and it would kill him, I would like to do non-lethal damage. Okay. Can you do that with inflict wounds? I don't know. You can do anything. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, theoretically. He's got to be creative. Anything, no, I think if you, like, um, if you specify that you're doing, like, non-lethal I know you can with like melee but like I wasn't sure if how that worked with spells and I know you can't for like ranged like you arrows can't for, like for for things that would do like um that where they need a save okay or like if you do fireball or something like that like that's just that but um yeah. this is a since this is like a touch like I have to touch him okay for it like at the very least, that's how I would rule that personally. Yeah. Um, if oh, I was yeah, like, bolt or something like that, then probably not. But since I have to like touch him, where it's I, like technically a me it's like technically a melee thing, but it's a spell. Yeah, or yeah. like I'm close enough to be able to see if I'm killing him. If that makes sense. Hmm. I don't actually know that I will kill him with this, but I just want to be clear. I'm I don't want to like kill right. him, kill him I in mean, front of all of these. Technically, people. it's called inflict wounds, not inflict death. So. Yeah, it does got a point there. I might mean, even mm -hmm. fucking miss, so you know. <laughs> <laughs> Take that, Aggie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so oh, <laughs> guy doesn't even say anything. Yet. You're like, yeah, what the fuck, Aggie? <laughs> <laughs> does an 11 hit him, Aggie? Ooh, um. Oh. <laughs> I don't. Let's see. Uh, no, it will not. Okay, I didn't think After so. <laughs> I um pat him on the shoulder. Uh, my my spell fails, but I just pat him on the shoulder and I'll say, "Here, here, calm down." <laughs> it's like it just like crackles a little bit. You're like, oh, um, uh. <laughs> hey, there, there, woof, woof. <laughs> like the most confusing like bar fight they've ever been in. <laughs> you should know it's the strangest thing I've ever done. <laughs> Alrighty, so that brings us to Shay. You may deliver your groin attack or whatever. <laughs> uh, so, is this a fist fight or is this weapons out? <clears throat> I'm not sure. I don't know yet. All right. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Well, <laughs> I w yeah, I wasn't I wasn't sure how <laughs> how uh, ready to dance these guys were. Um, OK, well. Well, let's need this guy. <laughs> what do I have to roll for that? I think it's just. Um, is it like D20? Do you add your strength or do you do like the whole? Um, like unarmed attack is that uh yeah you're probably not proficiency probably just uh 20 and strength is that how that works or is that what the damage I know, is i know the damage for an unarmed strikes like 1d4 is not it might even just be your what your strength modifier is um yeah, i can see it. if i can find it sure um i mean i could just hit him with my it might, i might be the <laughs> improvised weapon as 1d4 mm. An unarmed strike is 1d4, but I think if you have... Unarmed fighting? Yeah, so... Up. You can punch, kick, headbutt, or use a similar forceful blow and deal bludgeoning damage equal 1 plus your strength modifier. 1 plus, yeah, okay. Yeah, so that's what it is. So for me, it's 4, which is why I got confused. Because um, my strength modifier is plus 3. 
Right. Um, so if you're like a monk or something like that, though. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Or if you're uh, something with claws. Oh, right. right. So the groin thing was uh, was hopefully going to be a surprise attack, but since that's out the window, I'm just going to use my great sword. I do have a story about that later, though. Um, and being someone in the groin? Yeah. Okay. I'll make sure to remember to ask you. Does a 13 hit? I think that will just miss. Fuck. No. Yeah. Um, we're off to oh, a great right. start, fam. <laughs> great job. Slightly more prepared bandits than we're used to. <laughs> should, should need him in the grind. So one of them's like, ah, oh, watch out, he's got a sword. And he's like, you fools, we've all got swords. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so with that, uh, he's going to... Mm hmm... I'm so excited to get spiritual weapon, you guys. <laughs> yeah, that'll be nice. So that is, let's see. I think. Eh. Oh, you know what can I do? Try something awful. I think it's 1D or... Oh, yeah. Nope. That is a 6 to hit, which I do... Or, yeah, 6 to hit, which I... Or, yeah, to um, probably Narek. I did not specify before, oh, but yeah. he's the one that's like right there at the front with you, this guy. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And he goes to take out a sword and slash at you. It's just like a short sword, but it goes wide and the chaos misses you. So we're on to the fourth one now. We'll say is now in, in combat with uh, Shay. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, don't like that. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> oh, disadvantage, though. He's within five feet. Okay. And what's um, what's the ability? You can um, click it and post it into roll 20, right? Yes. Um... I just want to see it. Yep. And I am wearing a shield. Nice. Very nice. Ooh. And according to your picture, that's your shield set. <laughs> yes. All right. I specifically um, flipped the image around because my character's a lot of left-handed swordsman. <laughs> I didn't know we had Link in the party. It's a little better. Yeah, we'll take that. <laughs> <laughs> I just fucking love how we all miss, and then the first hit is just like a crit. <laughs> yeah, for real. <laughs> Cool. <laughs> I, was, I wasn't sure. Like I was like, uh, like uh, am I gonna like save the protection uh, depending on who he tries to go after? But I saw the crit. I was like, okay, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I appreciate it. Mm. And is that? Uh, yeah, that's a reaction. Okay. Yeah. So that's my reaction gun. Okay. So if, any, if anyone else gets critted on, there's not much I can do. <laughs> yeah. So that was, yeah, the fourth one. So he just gets blocked. Then we're on to three now. Um, I think he might go... It's good combat five, music. Ten. Maybe... Fifteen. I forgot when I switched my headphones, I only switched Discord, so I was like, I don't hear any combat music, and I'm like, oh, I'm <laughs> <being> stupid. <laughs> and he is going to attack Shay with... Yeah, I did want the smoke. 18. Yeah, that'll do. All right. We got... So that is... Because you brought a great sword to a knife fight. 
Um, one. So I think it is. Yeah, 1d6 plus 2. So for 5 damage. Ouch. It's the first time I've taken damage this whole campaign. <laughs> Alright, and that brings us to Erdok. Fuck my Erdok. All right, let's go. I can't wait. These friggin' roofings deserve it. I'm gonna use my hunter's mark because I have it, and I'm, 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 I'm gonna use it. I appreciate that. Okay, so I want to mark this one actually, and then yeah. I'll use my bow to shoot him afterwards. Okay. Can you? Can you do both those in one turn, or...? Yeah, Hunter's Mark is a bonus action for me. Ooh. Nice. Cool. Okay. And then the extra D6. Thanks. Nice. So that's 12 damage total. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Does that show up on you guys too with a little. Yeah. Um, the yeah. Arrows in him. Yeah. So that way yeah. you just know that he's marked for you. Neat. We don't Thank you. It. All that. All right. That brings us to Narek. Yeah, I like to attack the one to my right. Mm -hmm. My long sword. Very well. Oops. Um. So it was the it was an ATA. I don't know why I didn't roll oh, the damage yeah. though. It's supposed to roll damage. Yeah. All right. So um, I guess we'll go with a ten. Yeah. That's on that guy. All right. I can't remember. I'm not going to do it this turn anyway. But um, when we were talking about like divine smite last time, were we talking about using me being able to do that after I knew like I hit already? Um, let's see. I'm not sure. That's, um... Uh, you can use Divine Smite for that, but you can't use your, like, Burning Smite and stuff like that, like your Spell Slot one? Yeah, the Spell Slot one, just the, um, the, the, the other one, like the... I can't think of the term for it. This thing. The, um... It's yeah, like just, like your regular smite. just your yeah. regular smite. You can do that. Okay, yeah. I just couldn't remember if we discussed it or not. I don't know, I know, like, remember if we did, yeah. Yeah, because yeah, I know, um, like, generally, generally you can wait to see, like, what you, what you, like, if you hit, what the damage is first, but, like, however you want to play it. I'm not going to do this turn anyway, but. Mm -hmm. No, I mean, it says, like, um, yeah, when you hit a creature with a melee weapon attack, so. Yeah, I just know I played with like DMs who like want you to choose first, which like, yeah. but like yeah, so that's cool. Okay. That'll um, that'll end my turn. Okay, so that brings us to this guy in the back. He's gonna kind of hop over a couple tables, move up ten feet, and then take out his short sword and lunge at Narek as well. With, I believe it is, yeah, this one. Oh boy. Yeah, that it. Alrighty. Now six damage. All right. Oh, and that brings oh. us. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to kill him. 
Brings us back to Nathaya. Let's go. Okay. Well, that was really embarrassing. Um, <laughs> am I correct in uh, that that none of these guys have taken, or no, this guy in front of me, he's taken damage, right? Yes, I believe this so. Guy, and this guy have. Uh, the one in front of me, I'm going to toll the dead him. Okay. I'm mad now. They pulled out swords, so they could die now. Um, so I will need a wisdom saving throw, please. Right. Let's see. That is... And with them... They even have saves... I don't think so. so. If they don't, I think you just roll the wisdom roll. Yeah, that's what I thought. Which is not good for them. Damn, <laughs> motherfucker. <laughs> um, it is. Oof. Oh, okay. Oh, man. Well, that makes it. So I'm not <laughs> even going to roll the damage because I don't want to see what it is. <laughs> what I, what it would what it could have been. Dang. What, why are these guys these guys right? dice fucking loaded? <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> the hell? Like, for real, bro? Yeah. Dang. Alright. Okay. That brings us to Shay. Okay. Um Let's I'm also going to attack this guy again. And okay. we're going to hope that this time I actually hit him. Fuck. Well, unfortunately, <laughs> that does not hit him. Um, hang on. Can I... Uh... Is action surge a bonus action? Mm -hmm. Probably. I'm not sure. Yeah, because I think you it is an additional action. It's, so yeah, it's essentially a bonus action, but it doesn't take your bonus action. Okay. It just lets you take an additional action. Right. Next turn. Yeah. So it's not a bonus action. You just yeah, on your turn, you take one additional action. Yeah. And then you must finish a short, long rest before you can use it again. Okay, we're cool. going to try it again. All right. Let's go. Fuck. Fuck. Oh, boy. <laughs> Oof. All right. Damn. Any of those both end up going wide and all the chaos going on. That brings us to the first bandit. Um... At this point, I think he is going to direct his attention to Nathaya. And it's going to take a swing at you. Okay. <laughs> no. That's an 18 hit. Yes. Ooh, darn. Oh, it, just, it makes my yeah. AP. Darn. So that will be five points of damage. I, I really considered using like my protection there, but like I don't want someone to get credit on again. <laughs> <laughs> I figured you could handle it. Yes. All right. So that brings us to red brand number four. I think. Let's end with I think let's do that no actually you know what maybe seeing like Erdok in the back not getting any attention yet this guy will turn his attention to Erdok with an 11 as he tries to squeeze through and swing his short sword. Oh shit. 
but I imagine it does not quite hit with an 11. I don't think uh, your no, AC 14. is 14. Right. Does not hit. So yeah, it's a little bit of an awkward swing and just goes completely wide and is a miss. That not us today, to Captain Delta. <laughs> to uh, the third guy with... Um, yeah, he's going to continue attacking Shay with a 13. Ha! Does not hit. He also goes wide. And brings us to Erdok. All right. Well, I still want to maintain my hunter's mark. Like, I want to utilize that, so I'm going to attack the same bandit with my longbow. Yeah, get it. It's uh, 21 to hit. Is that what that is? And then 6 yep. damage? Yep. Oh, yeah. And then you don't even need to roll the hunter's mark damage. I'm going to do it anyway because I want to. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah, he did. <laughs> Overkill. You can transfer your hunter's mark to a new person now, too, by the way. Ooh. Oh, yeah, for sure. Right. Definitely going to do that. I have to do that on my next turn, right? Um, I don't know how that works. Let's see. Is that, uh, yeah, that's part of the... Yeah, on a subsequent turn, yeah. So my next turn I can mark a new creature. Unless I get Ooh. hit. Nice. Yeah, well, you can make a concentration roll. Oh, okay, cool. And, like, mm -hmm. if you get a hit, then you make a concentration check, and if you pass that, then your hunter's mark is still up. Yeah. Right on. Because, yeah, like, like, it's that. technically a spell. It's not a... Right. Yeah, rangers okay. kind of use spells, yeah. That should do it for me. <laughs> kind of. <laughs> Actually, so I do, I will... I will move back just a little bit. Just like one space. So that guy is down. And that'll do it for my turn. All right. That brings us to Narek. All right, I'm going to try to put this guy down. All right. So that's... 22 and then 9 damage. Yep. All right. Ooh. Ooh -hoo -hoo. Yeah, that will do it. Because now. Yeah, so he takes a big slash across the chest and just spirals backward onto the hardwood floor. A day in. All right. I'd like to use my bonus action to say that I warned him. <laughs> that brings us to Red Brand 2. Um, yeah, so he is. So, yeah, he's standing there seeing his two friends just get like picked off on either side of him. And it's like, oh, what the hell's going on here? And then takes a swing at you. Uh oh, that's a 20 yeah. tree. <laughs> yeah, that'll hit. Oh, damn. It's actually rolling really well, and I yeah. hate it. Yeah. <laughs> a bunch yeah, of scrub ass three, bandits. All three, <laughs> sessions, all three sessions we've done, I've gotten hit like every time. <laughs> I was going to say, too, I'm pretty sure the other sessions we've actually all rolled pretty well. <laughs> this one's just a, a dud so far. I just assume that they're at like the perfect level of drunkenness where they're just like in the zone. They got that, they got that zen going. Yeah, they're in the zen. Like they're not too drunk, they're not too sober. It's like perfect for them right now. And that brings us to Nithea. It's like how I met your mother and they keep trying to get Barney and Marshall <laughs> like the right amount of drunk. Or Barney the right amount of drunk. Okay. Um, I'm just... Actions. Um, I'm, I'm gonna just hit this guy with my Warhammer. All right. <laughs> Should we see him drunk? Yeah, I'm gonna fucking hit him with my Warhammer. Oh, <laughs> shit. <laughs> oh, damn. Let's go. Who's the man now? Chicken wings? Oh, 
course I rolled like shit. <laughs> the important thing is you hit him. <laughs> oh, wait, no, that didn't actually roll. I didn't actually roll my D8? Did it? Something weird um, is happening. Well, I mean... No, it didn't. Okay. Yeah, okay. I just, you just got a, a... You rolled a one, but it doesn't yeah, add anything because it only adds it once, right? Or Yeah, yeah. No, I... Uh... I misread. So yeah, seven damage on right. my critical hit, you guys. Let's go. Awesome. <laughs> That's it's seven something. more damage than I've done. <laughs> We're on the board. It's <laughs> really impressive looking, though. It's really impressive looking. So that brings us to Shay. It was the best seven damage we ever had. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I'm gonna attack this guy. Right. This time. <laughs> all right, all right. Yep, yeah, that'll do it. Roll your damage. Hey, he's on the board. Here we go. Hey. Yeah, we'll take that. that also, um, where to go? Uh, I'm gonna need to use my bonus action to use second wind to regain a plus D10. one D10. Plus two. Right. Um, nope. Didn't mean to do that. <laughs> That's... Okay. okay, so you heal five. Yeah. And we're back to full. Nice. And that's both my uh, <laughs> feet's gone until we rest. Alrighty. So that brings us back to the... Oh, no, he's dead. He's dead. <laughs> and back to the third one. Who's right. still with you. So in order to answer for that hit that you just struck, he will swing at you with... Don't do it. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> yeah, don't use protection. protection. Are you, are you actually going to use it or? Yeah? Yeah. Or, okay. Uh, <laughs> try again, bitch. <laughs> All right. Oh, well. Try again, bitch. <laughs> oh, well. I tried. You did your best. <laughs> Worth shot. I did my best. That's only four damage. Well, no, okay. easy come. Easy come, easy yeah. go. <laughs> that brings us to Erdok. It's a we, all too. Let's go. I would like to re-hunter my mark or remark my yeah. hunter, whichever one makes more sense. <laughs> um I'll do that guy. Yeah. And then I'll just shoot with my longbow again. Do it. Sixteen. That will hit. Yeah. Nice. And then nine damage plus your hunter's mark. You have been marked, sir. Oh, hi, Mark. <laughs> oh, nice. oh, hi, Mark. Yeah. Cool. So it's uh, like fourteen total. Oh yeah. We're doing that damage today. So he also is down. Let's go. Oh shit! Yes. And that brings us back to Narek. Yeah, I'd like to move here. Okay. And I would like to offer him a chance to surrender. Oh, yeah, that's probably a good idea. <laughs> I'm out here just dropping bolts left and right. <laughs> I was, whichever, one, whichever one was left, I was going to do it. Um, what's he gonna do? He's kind of like looking around at all his uh fallen comrades and it's like, You guys are crazy. It's just hey, it's just, just, just leave it be. I'm, I'm out of here. You never saw me. They kill him, and you know, I'm kidding. <laughs> Stab him in the back. 
necessarily lay down your weapons. We have some questions for you. Hey, did, did he? Did he beat it? What? That's kind of a personal question. Did he leave? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> he wants to be, but probably before we came in. <laughs> he also sees that, like, yeah, their door is pretty much blocked, and like he is surrounded by you guys and his dead companions. So he's fallen homies. Yeah, he can't really. He has nowhere real, really to go. And then, like at this point, like everyone in the bar is like stopped and it's actually quiet and everyone's <laughs> just like looking at what's about to happen like they've been watching this like the whole time and then he just kind of looks around and then just throws his short sword on the ground and clatters on the hardwood floor wise choice now put my sword away I'll even offer to help him up if he's down I can't remember what happened to him I assume he's hurt I mean, he's definitely hurt. Like, yeah, they were all very pretty, pretty low. And this guy is, I think, still standing. But yeah, he's uh, in pretty rough shape. Uh, I'll help <laughs> ease him into a chair. I'm mm. going to him in the grind. No, <laughs> <laughs> all right. World D4. This is, this is not unlethal <laughs> uh, grind damage. Uh... I didn't say non-lethal. <laughs> <laughs> Like help him to a chair and shade his one and knees him in the groin. <laughs> You're oh my god! Him. Just like take him down, just break the chair under him and everything. <laughs> <laughs> Sprawls out dead. Okay. So he's like sitting down. He's like, okay, okay, I'll, I'll do it. I'll do anything you want. Like just, just let me go. Keep your stuff. I, I didn't see you. <clears throat> Sorry. Uh, so, like, <laughs> so, oh yeah, I still me have some questions for him. Mm. So, we heard that uh, you and your uh, fellows maybe uh, host, uh, like, um, what's the word for it? Maybe uh, you may be occupying the uh, manor east of town. Is that uh, is that true? Um, let's see. So, um, yeah. So he's like, uh, yeah, yeah. We've we've been holding up out there, just underneath the Tris, the old Trisendor Manor up there. So there's, there's a whole bunch of us. We, that's our that's where we've been operating out of. Okay, okay. So, what can you tell us about the layout there? Uh, how many, uh, how many uh, chums you have? I mean, what, uh, what, kind of, what kind of things can you tell us? Um, I mean, it's our, there's a whole bunch of, like, there's a whole bunch of us in there. It's, uh, yeah, there's, um, all sorts of, Hallways and barracks and storerooms. Um, our our leaders, this this powerful wizard that, like we do we do his bidding, and he's uh, we, I I I don't even know his real name, but he's just like, he tells us what to do and you know where to, like where where to go and everything. Um, there's uh, if he. Um, I'm just trying to see what else he knows. Um, I think the uh, our our leader, our human, uh, he's a human wizard. I think he knows he's actually in league with someone above him. Has hired all of us to like intimidate and. You know, rob the locals, but uh, it's it's more than I know. I I'm, I'm just just a mere bandit. Like I just in it for the money. I don't go. I don't need to know that much. So I I really don't know much about 
the the higher commands. Um, we've been holding uh, a few people captive, and this area is like the near like there's a, like kind of a crypt area down there. Um, yeah, it's uh, um, just yeah, just kind of our our hideout, what? our storage area. There's some some pretty creepy things down there, but uh, if you know how to get around or like where to go, just to try to s do your best to stay away from them, it's it's best to avoid them if you can, but uh, can't always be avoided. Oh shit! I was muted. <laughs> no. <laughs> Um, I was asking what kind of, if he knows what kind of creepy things, like I know he's obviously not like mm -hmm. the brightest guy. <laughs> but... Oh, there's like, I mean, in one spot we have, there's um, some undead skeletons that they're um, guarding around. Um, mm -hmm. There's this weird, hideous eye type monster in the, uh, in the deep caves at the below the manor that's I think the the wizard has um somehow struck a deal with him that uh the wizard's allowed to pass through there and yeah he's just oh he's a, a creepy little thing down there but I uh, will maybe Arcana or something to see if I know what the other monster would be ask uh for what um, like what if, would you... if like I know like if I have an idea of what the eye monster is um what would that be would that be like maybe um I was thinking like arcana or history maybe if they've come up before um Maybe. I don't know if there would be like, probably not like uh, s survival and stuff would be more like beasts and stuff mm -hmm. like that. Uh, yeah, wilderness stuff. Given story? that it is what I think it is, I feel like Arcana would probably be the most appropriate check. Maybe, maybe. Um, uh, sure, might as well. I mean, like it probably fits in that um, category best anyway. It's it's hard to say, like, because he, like, the bandit doesn't even really know that much what it is. So it's kind of hard to gather what it could be. Like, mm. you gather it's, like, some sort of creepy cyclops thing with, like, a like bit of... Not, um, not something you'd see every day, essentially. Yeah, no, definitely not. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you definitely get the idea that it's some sort of magic-using cyclops. Like, it has one eye and that the wizard can somehow parlay with it so you gather that it somehow understands magic and stuff like that so some sort of magical cycloptic monster um yeah it's probably the best yeah, thing you can gather from that generally not good yeah but um I don't know, so I have any questions yeah I want to step forward um you say this manor, you're holed up there. I'm sure it's fortified somewhat. Yeah, I'm sure you have scouts on the lookout, right? Um, I mean, it's kind of, kind of hidden enough, or well, inconspicuous enough that we don't really, like, uh, keep a very watchful eye out. It's um, not no no one dares really stand up to us. We're we're really not used to it. We're just kind of used to like walking around town getting what we want and yeah it's we haven't really had the need for scouts or guards or much else really so not, not a whole lot of danger till we get inside is what you're saying i yeah i would say so you think we just 
knock on the front door? I mean, you could go in from the the upper level and then like go in through the basement, through the, the ruins of the old manor. But I know a lot of us have been using the uh, the tunnel underneath the hill that um, the manor sits on. Just uh, to the south of the manor, there's this this tunnel that um, leads into the hideout. Um, yeah, um, underneath the manor. Well, secret entrance is always the best way, in my opinion. Secret tunnel. <laughs> I think that would be our best bet. Agreed. I uh, <clears throat> investigate just see what else these guys might have in their pockets since they were so eager to try and see what was in ours mm -hmm. yeah they probably don't have too much I wonder if there's a if there's any stat block for that I don't really I don't think they have too much on them. It doesn't look like it. Yeah, probably not really much. Just like random, you know, ruffian trinkets and stuff like that. You gather that whatever they um, sorry, uh. You gather that whatever they um, gather, they kind of bring to the hideout. Mm. Figures. Well, what do we do with this guy? Let's just, just let, let me go. Like I, I never saw you guys. I promise. I, you'll never hear from me again. Graham. <laughs> Listen, if you're going to do crime, you have to do it well. And um, that includes not um, badgering armed folk when they walk into a bar. Uh, so stay away from crime syndicates such as that. And also, you're not going to make much money by pestering, you know, folks in poverty. Go after the rich people. Join an anarchist guild. They technically did. <laughs> um, if... Sorry, were you going to say something? I was just going to say, if we let him go, there's no guarantee that he won't run to the manor and let them know that we're coming. Oh, don't worry. I have a plan. Yeah. If you if he runs to the manor to tell them that we're coming, he's just going to die at the manor with all of his friends when we show up. So here's what I'm going to propose. I'm going to tell him to sit tight for a second. OK. I'm going to talk to my friends. Yeah, yeah, yeah. OK, OK. So here's what I'm thinking. Someone has to clean up the mess in here. I have a guy who's perfect for the job. I have a guy who's sort of my understudy. I'm thinking to help him, you know, bury his buddies. They walk him to the west side of town and they make sure that he leaves in that direction and never bothers us again. Sounds good to me. Yeah, I, I like that feel plan. like that should buy us enough time to do what we got to do. Yeah, that sounds good to me. And then I'll reiterate the same thing to him. He's mm -hmm. gonna use it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Fair enough. Very, very wise. Sounds good. And then also, so out of character, like the one of my retainers and my squire will be the two that take him. Okay. The retainer that obviously does like the muscle work, not the other yep. guy. Yeah. Sounds good. Okay. All and right. 
I'll explain that to whoever said barkeep here. Um, yeah, there'd probably be, like, some sort of, like, bartender at this point. I think, like, everyone's kind of gone back to their drink by now. It's kind of, like, not quite as rowdy as was it what it was when you guys first walked in. Like, everyone's kind of, like, yeah, you know, keeping an eye on you as you walk by and, like, trying to stay out of your um, way. But, yeah. and also, like, yeah, be a little... Yeah, less just, obnoxious. I'll just explain it. Like, we'll take it. We'll help take care of the mess. And so he, he'll gesture to that other guy. All right. Sounds good. Yeah. Like, you gather that the bartender's, like, completely used to this kind of stuff yeah. happening on a, an average night. Well, I think I'm about done here. Because you guys have other stuff you want to do. No, I think we should get to business. Also, I don't know if this is gonna, like, I see this is just gonna happen, like, off screen. But, like, when I send my buddies to go help that guy bury his dead and leave, I'm gonna tell him to also contact Darren when they get out to that part of town. Just in case there's any funny business. That's a good point. <laughs> just give him the old thumbs up. Okay. So then, where were y'all's heading from the bar and after all that then? I think we should try to find that the entrance to the hidden tunnel south of the manor mm -hmm. that the uh, captive was talking about. Mm -hmm. I think so. The first thing on Airdoc's mind. Yeah. Is that what uh, yeah, everyone else is down for? Yeah, it's good, yeah. good, good with me. Okay. All right. So, yeah, it takes um, maybe a little bit of, uh, or let's get um, Airdoc to roll a survival check as you guys are exploring the hills around the old Chris Endor manor. All right, survival check. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> Get it it's, um, Get a 10. Yeah, it, it takes a little while. It's um it's pretty well hidden like among the uh the hill. It's like yeah, it's not like a very obvious cave it's like you can tell it's it's a secret tunnel that you know r ruffians use to get into their secret hideout so it is not very obvious but if, after a while you do end up finding it um from the uh, vague description that the bandit gave you guys and um yeah so there is a little tunnel entrance that leads into this big dark cave so you guys are just coming into this cave work now um i assume erdok's probably taking the lead yeah um who's following what's your marching order i'd like to be up near the front preferably very well do we want magic user in the back and or do you want magic user kind of in the middle and then shay taking up the rear could do um i can be it doesn't really matter because uh while i am a magic user i have a higher ac than shay that's fair you're not um a wizard or anything yeah i i'm not a wizard <laughs> i have armor and a shield yeah. and a big fucking hammer you are not squishy no um, yeah, because Shay also uses, I know that you have sword, Shay, but do you also use, like, bows? Uh, yeah, I have a long bow. Okay, so it might be, like, if Shay is in the back, then at least if we're, like, stuck in kind of a line, they can still attack. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, I have no problem with that. Yeah, it makes sense to me. Alrighty. So... 
you guys eventually kind of get to the opening of this cave. Um, I'll just kind of reveal some of this cave here. Ooh. Right, so there's like, yeah, a bit of an opening there. And it is, so there's a cold breeze that fills this large natural cavern, carrying with it the faint scent of decaying flesh. There's a uh, crevasse divides the cavern and is flanked by two rough stone columns that support the 20 foot high ceilings. Um, two arched wooden bridges span the chasm as well. Um, the bridges are just made of like wooden planks. There's no rails. Um, yeah, it's just kind of like a little rickety bridges. And um, yeah, it's just kind of this is that entrance of the uh, secret cave that you are now in. Um, yeah. Okay, well, I don't know how much I trust rickety wooden bridges in <laughs> dark caves, so I'm going to just head a little bit to the left and take a peek. This looks like an opening of some sort. Let's see. Um... Not even in front. I just want to like peek around the corner. Um, so you're looking down the stairs that way, uh, to the to the left. Yeah, whatever the the, the nearest uh, leftern lefternmost opening is, I want to look. Okay. Um. So you get to that little side area there. Um. And yeah, looking down it's just kind of shows that there's like a hallway with some stairs going down that way oh this looks sketch <laughs> but um also as you're um let's see what does it say um yeah as you kind of get up to that um, stone column there that's like that uh, rock that's like right here there's this weird kind of voice that's like that you hear but it's it's weird it's like a different kind of hearing a voice it's not that you hear it with your ears it's like in your mind uh <laughs> And it's just like this weird, like cackling, like gravelly little like who goes there? Who enters my domain? Uh, I just want to turn back and look to my companions. I don't want to be too loud, but I went and called out to them. Did anyone else hear that? Did we hear that? Um, let's see the um. I think it's, um, yeah, probably, yeah, I would say, like, pretty much everyone entering would hear it. Well. Yeah, fam, we did hear that. Yeah, it's just, like, this weird, like, kind of, like, bits of, like, cackling and little bits of gibberish, and, like, it just sounds like mad, like, chitterings and stuff of like this one voice that's just like asking about you all right well glad i'm not the only one but i'm still concerned here not sure if the voices have anything to do with this stairway but either way not a big fan of these tight corners here mm -hmm. anybody else have any ideas maybe we should keep poking forward like in the main yeah. cavern and not this little tight narrow stairway <laughs> probably yeah yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah at this point you kind of hear some like gravel and like rocks scraping along getting closer to you and it's like does it have food what does it have to eat And yeah, you just kind of hear it getting a little closer, and it's like, can we eat it? 
I'm going to uh, throw my berries down the, down the stairs. <laughs> there you go. It wants to eat. Um, You should have kept those panda corpses. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> so, Just kidding. Please don't, please don't dock my alignment. <laughs> Um, where we got, uh, so at this point, there'd probably be like, uh, there's this thing that kind of starts to come out from behind one of the columns there. Oh, what the hell is that thing? <laughs> and it's just kind of like, slowly, like creeping along seeing what you're like throwing out um but it is i think i can do that and it shows in the oh yeah. now that we see it are we able to make a, another arcana roll to try and like see if we know what yeah, this see is? If we know what the fuck it is i'm um, sure i don't know why i'm gonna do this but hey, uh, whoa you're like from the fey realm so who knows maybe you have more oh Maybe not. <laughs> no, no, fuck. I was like, wait, I'm not very smart. <laughs> I got nerfed, guys. <laughs> Devs, why? Yeah, I'd say it's like, it's pretty hard to, it's like, you have never seen something like this. It's weird. It's this weird, like, mad, chittering creature that's like, just like, turning at all weird, awkward angles and just like looking at you curiously with this big singular eye. What about Narek, who rolled a 19? Mm, I mean, like even like like you kind of gather. Um, what does this say? Um, it's like they're like, um, what does it say? Uh, you know that they're drawn to places of like magic and stuff like that. If there's like an area that kind of gives off a magical aura, it's kind of like little, um, good hiding places that they like to live in um and you can tell that they're easily bought kind of like they're very food driven and not so much that they will defend their territory of like killing intruders and stuff but it's like they might like their greed might drive them to accept uh, deals or, um, you know, offerings and stuff like that in exchange for other things. I'm just going to very calmly and slowly knock my bow. <laughs> I love all natural creatures, but this is the most unnatural thing I've ever seen in my life. Yeah. Okay. What are you? <laughs> um. What? I. I am just. I am. I don't know. I don't know if I have a name. I just. I live here. I just am. I am hungry. What do you eat? It starts to like get really like kind of excited of like like a a crazed excitement of like you just hear it's like voice saying like flesh, bones, meat, so like kind of like different rapid excited tones. And this is all in your head too. It's not actually speaking out loud to you. Uh, 
like, guys, I think that this is uh, no bueno, and I don't like this thing existing in this space. Yeah, agreed. Yeah, same. I'm literally like doing my best to back up into the wall that's like behind me. Mm-hmm. You know what? I'm gonna reach into All my right. I'm gonna reach into my little foraging pouch and throw some mushrooms at it. Like at its feet. Yeah. It'll like yeah, like stoop over and sniff it like very weird like yeah just an awkward like spider-like agility just kind of like sniffing out the ground and oh my god I turning its it. head and looking at it and, and then just kind of like turning its nose up at it it's like disgusting like it's like no no not me no all I got is mushrooms okay. and berries so I don't know what else fam um uh, I'd like to address the creature and say that, like, we have no quarrel with you. We're not. We're just looking to pass through. Our quarrels with the. I'm not sure if you're familiar with people that are taking up residence above uh, your home here. Or our quarrels with them. Perhaps if you let us through. Upon our return, we can share whatever meat they have up there. Yes, I'm sure there's twice as much meat up there than there is right here. And like, you can hear a kind of pause and it's mad gibberish in your mind and as it kind of takes a moment to think about it and then it's like more like more meat it's like with are you with the wizard hmm. what do you know about the wizard the wizard yes we struck a deal he he lives here down to down here too with me he gives me bodies, townsfolk, and I let him live here with me. He said that there is many more to come where that's where that is from. Do you have more townsfolk? Mm. Out of character. Yeah. <laughs> I, mean, I, didn't, I didn't really want to fight this thing, but I kind of think we have to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, let's, let's, uh... Or at least I didn't want to fight it yet, but, like, I, I don't see how. Do yeah. so you know what tastes better than townsfolk? Steel. Wizards. <laughs> <laughs> More berries. Hmm. Roll persuasion. Jesus Christ. <laughs> roll, roll Persephone. That actually is not a bad roll considering my persuasion is yep. negative one. Yeah. Not, not too bad. Not too bad. He seems not like convinced, but like also not like against the idea either. It's like, hmm, eat the wizard. Listen, because wizards, they don't, like, do manual labor. They, like, sit in their towers and they write in their books. They're, like, soft and, like, fleshy. Um, a lot of the townsfolks here are just the farmers. They're, like, working hard all day. Yeah. They've got, like, really tough rough, meat. Very kind rough. of gamey. Very gamey. We've got a nice pampered wizard. Yeah, that's prime meat. Very, very succulent. Delicate. Decadent. Mm -hmm. mm. We just fall off the bone. You, you bring me his body. Yeah, he's like just kind of 
waiting expectantly like yes i could i could eat wizard well i mean you'd have to let us through so we could go like yeah. defeat the wizard to bring you his body yes okay okay you you bring me decadent wizard meat yes yes you pass you bring me the wizard he Which way me. should we go to get to the wizard fastest? <clears throat> oh, okay. Yes, of course. He's... I f he's, he's mean. I feel he uses me. I, I know think he his, does. I know his secrets. Oh, great. Please tell me his secrets. It will help us defeat him. You go north... The room to the north, there's a secret door. I, I like that. Him, I see him try to escape all the time. You use that door, get by all his, all his warning signs, and you catch him by surprise, and you bring me decadent wizard meat. That's true. Yeah. Yes. Yes, yes, go north. Secret door on the left. You take him by surprise and you bring him back. Mm hmm. All right then. Do you have a name? Would you like a name? People call me. Anothic? Oh, fuck. <laughs> Anothic, I pledge to you that we will bring you the meat of this wizard, and I'll do my best to make sure that it's hard to perfection for you. We prefer it raw. Disgusting, but okay, yeah. That's that works for me. I'm not gonna argue. Yes, decadent wizard meat. It's just gonna like kinda slowly slink backwards, like down into the crevice. Okay. And, like it's, here it's the fade like the chittering in your mind kinda fading and the only thing the last thing you see is it's like giant green eye kind of fade into the darkness of the crevice below and the crevice below I think is only it's only 20 feet deep so it's not like a like a absolute chasm but it just has like a little yeah little crevice little canyon in there that um, it likes to hang out in Cool. All right, so I guess we'll go north. Yeah. Yeah, I assume in this way. Yeah. Mm, all right, yeah, you guys are going up to that north room there yeah um, let's see see yeah there's a little room up at the north end of the cavern. Do, uh, do one of these bridges look less rickety than the other one? Um, let's see. Do they make an investigation check? Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> they seem fine. Oh, God. Yeah. 
<laughs> um, as Erdak, I was just gonna wait and see if anyone else was gonna try one of the bridges. <laughs> Um, so my own intuition says that the one that's closest to the entrance is probably seen more use. So they might keep it in better shape, so I'm going to go across that one. I'm going to wait for everyone else to go across. Yeah, and I'm going to try to cross it. Sorry, near the entrance or where you came oh, in? Sorry. or The entrance to the secret room. Oh, okay. Probably not like where the secret cave is. I don't imagine people use that one as much. Okay. Okay. But I could be completely wrong. It's just my own rational no, rationalization no, for it. So you walk across the bridge and you get to the other side safely. <laughs> okay. I'm pretty sure I'm the heaviest person here by a lot. So I think it's safe for everyone else. Yeah, once I see that, I, I feel more safe. I'm going to follow. Yep. Yep. You. Uh... Also, while well, Erdok and I are across the bridge, I'm going to lean over to him and like, say that, like, I know we struck a deal with this creature, but I don't think we can let it live. We'll have to see what its plans are once it's uh, once it runs out of food. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I'm about yeah. ready to put yeah. an arrow in that green eye of his. So you all successfully go across the bridge, and yeah. All right. Yeah, I'd like to carefully proceed towards the room. Okay. It's the north end of the large natural cavern. It's been finished with dressed stone block walls and flagstone floor. There's a whole bunch of barrels start, stored against one wall. Um, there's a bunch of empty crates. There's straw for packing, hammers, pry bars, nails, all sorts of stuff for just storage stuff in general. The cavern continues, yeah, some distance to the south as if, yeah. And, uh, yeah, it's just explaining the other part of the cavern that you guys were already part of. All right, okay. So, yeah, this is just kind of like a little makeshift storeroom and work area. Before I go into the room, is there, like, a like a tiny, like, a little rock or something I can roll across the floor to, like, see if anything's going to be rigged? Yeah. Um, just make a... Traps, thanks. <laughs> yeah, make, like, um... Is that investigation or... Probably. Yeah. Uh, Seems fine. Okay. Mm -hmm. Would anyone else like to take a look at this before we uh, proceed? Yeah, what the hell? I trust y'all. Seems fine. Okay. okay. All right, I guess we should. We know that there's a secret door in here. Um, mm -hmm. Would that still be an investigation check or like a perception check? Yeah, so I would say, yeah, just roll a perception check. It's going to be easier now that you know you're looking for it and stuff. But... Um... Yeah, do you know um, where you're looking? Like what they, um, what the Nothic had said? And they said the door was like, um, like there's a hidden door in this room. So I guess that like I would be going along the walls. Mm hmm to like try and find the door I my character doesn't know but considering there's like boxes and stuff in these corners it's probably not there 
Um, but I'd probably be looking at like the square eye, the, just walking around the room trying to like find the door. Okay. Because um, you actually find that there is. Um, I do. If I do this, does that make it visible? No, no, no I don't no. see anything different. Like besides Erdok's character, there's no red or anything? No. Nope. No. Okay. All right, then keep your secrets. <laughs> <laughs> I can just put it on the map layer, I guess. Oh, yeah, we can see that. Yeah. So there's actually two secret doors in this room hmm. that you find. I'll let everyone else know that there's one where I am. Uh, Yeah, apparently there's one right here, too. I wasn't even expecting it. What do you guys think? This one feels a little too obvious to me. Feel like we should check the other one. Mm. Yeah. Um, does a stealthy person want to like nudge open the door and take a look? <laughs> uh, yeah, I can do it. I'm gonna step aside and let the the younger whippersnapper take a look. Erdak has seen enough for today. <laughs> so yeah, you slowly open that. There's like, it's just kind of a stone-looking door on hinges that's pretty flush with the wall. But yeah, just being on hinges, it actually swings open with uh, relative ease, and then you poking your head in, you see that there's just another little staircase that goes down. Oh my god, not more stairs. Turns around. The creature did say he was down, though, did it not? Right. Because yeah. I assume upward is only more bandits. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Oh. Is anyone is anyone curious to see what the other door might be, or are we just gonna go down this one? We should look through the other door also. Okay. Okay. I'll try to gently open it. Um. So yeah, there's another little hallway that way. There's a door right across the hall from you. Like right there. And then there's another one like around the corner down there. Right. Um, yeah. So you just kind of see a hallway with two doors. I feel like the other one's probably where we should go. Yeah, I feel like that's the best bet that's... for the wizard, as much as I hate these narrow stairs. Hmm, this feels like it's going to go up at some point. Well, shall we? Yeah. We shall. Yep. Alrighty. Uh-oh. Um. Please don't say uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> Uh oh. Okay. What's that? Oh. So roll a stealth check. 
Everyone? Um, I guess mostly just whoever is in the lead, like I guess you. Ah, uh, shoot. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, God. So, yeah, opening um, the door, you see. So there's this kind of bedroom workshop thing in there. It's uh, the walls of this bedchamber are covered with drapes of scarlet cloth. The furnishings include a small writing desk with a matching chair, a comfortable looking bed, and a wooden chest at the foot of the bed. Um, sitting at the desk, um, kind of getting up and looking at the door, like confused, like he definitely heard you coming, but um, seeing you come through the door, he was like not expecting to see, he doesn't recognize you, but uh, he's a dark bearded human male in robes. Um, and he has like uh, studying this book in his hands um, is a princely mantle a beautiful glass staff leans against his uh, chair uh, like right again like right within easy reach of him and uh, yeah he's uh, kind of stands up doesn't recognize you and oops uh And there's this, um, yeah, just wizard in the middle of the room that is like, Who are you? How did you get here? Wizard. Last half. That's the guy we want. It's him. <laughs> what? What? That's the place. <laughs> We're here for you, good sir. Are you guys come down the stairs too? Or are you just going to stay up there? Look. Oh, we, we've come down the stairs. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, fuck. Uh, I don't know. Maybe, maybe over here. <laughs> um, is he is he still seated, or is he like reaching for his staff, or what's his what's he doing? Oh yeah, yeah. No, he's like just seeing strangers kind of coming into his room. He's like casually picking up his staff, and he's like, "Please enter, my guests. What is this all about? What is the meaning of this?" Welcome, brethren. Yeah, he's looking to filter in carefully. I'll introduce myself as Sir Eric Valenheart. We understand you've been causing quite a bit of trouble for the locals, sir. And frankly, we cannot allow that to go on any longer. Ah, uh, yes. Yes. Unpleasant little business, these unfortunate events. Yes, they are. Unfortunately, they are in a greater, a greater plot than you or I can comprehend. So, unfortunately, they must continue as scheduled. Well, they're not going to. <laughs> Perhaps you misunderstood me, sir. They cannot go on any longer. Well, I'm... I'm afraid we are at an, an impasse, my good friend, then. For... I shan't be... Re resist... I shan't be putting a stop to my business that I have... Like, established here in town. We have quite a good thing going on here. And I won't have you interrupting and getting in the way. I just have one question, sir. Yes? Why? Why have you sent these bandits roaming across the countryside, burning everything they see, killing innocents, destroying the livelihood of the folk? What reason do you have? What reason Gosh. does anyone? It's... Simple power. There's, there are great fortunes in these hills yet to be reclaimed, and we shall reclaim them. Well, sir, unfortunately for you, I've sworn an oath to protect the common people, and I cannot allow this to go on any longer. So it seems an impasse we are at. I'll unsheath my, my sword. 
This is your warning to stand down. He'll ready his staff and say, I'm sorry we couldn't come to an agreement, but if this is how it must be, then so be it. And, uh, yeah, yeah. here we go. <laughs> For everybody, roll initiative. I'm vigilant blessing myself, so I get advantage on my initiative roll. Oh, that's dope. Okay, so it's um, I don't think, or was the town, or was the turn order? Where's that? Oh, yeah, it is up, I think. Yeah, it's been, up. it's still up from last time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I just moved it to the side so I can see the map. All right, so I think everyone's in there. Yes, excellent. And then... Now we just need yeah. whiz biz. Yeah, I think. Does that do it? Yep. Oh. I don't think I selected his token. Oh, well. Doesn't it doesn't appear that you did. It says you wanted to send the result of this roll to the <laughs> turn tracker, but no valid token was selected. Don't tell me what I wanted, even though that's exactly what I wanted. <laughs> How dare you say the thing that I needed? <laughs> I don't know what you guys, but I'm pretty glad he rolled pretty shittily. I read. Nice. Wizards are dangerous, you guys. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> that starts us off with Shay. Can we just pretend this table isn't here? Yeah, it's a five foot space, so. Good. I mean, yeah, you can like move through it. I don't know if you can stop on it, but like you can. Uh, you can be in like a, yeah, or you could be in a, di I mean, like, like well, a diagonal square. Yeah. It doesn't really matter. Yeah. Well, we smash. Hopefully. Uh, you, do have, you, do have, you do have advantage, too. How oh, do I? Yeah, yeah girl. We're... You flanking. Yeah. yeah. Might as well. <laughs> I think that actually hits. Right. It's a wizard. If he had an yeah. AC over, like, over... Exactly. I was, like, he probably I, peaked, like... I was like, he probably peaked at 11, but I wasn't... <laughs> Eight total. All right. All right. So that brings us to Nathea. Oh... You know she's gonna do something cool. Uh, I'm gonna. Excuse me. Pardon me. I'm gonna stand here and I'm gonna bonk him. Nice. Perfect. I yeah. feel like if we're gonna go fight the Nothic later, I want to save my spells for that. I think that's probably wise. Oh, oh my god! Damn. Yeah. All right. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I was going to say seven damage. Let's go. <laughs> All says on no steak. Is that the same exact roll from last time? I no. Think it might be worse. It's, it's worse. Yeah, so I, got... I think last time was six and one or five and one or something. Yeah. Like that. Six and a one. Yeah. Oh my God. I'm really mad about that, but still, it's a wizard. So six damage is a lot for a wizard. Yeah. And you hit him. Yeah. That's, that's the important thing. Yeah. All right. Yeah, he's he's taking some damage. Narek is up now. And I'd like to attack him. Very well. Okay. <laughs> yeah, actually that will uh, just hit. He is a wizard. You're so a wizard. Four, and I would... <laughs> actually, how's he look after four? Is he? Um. Yeah, he's looking pretty rough. I will save my divine smite. Very well. All right. So that brings us to the glass staff himself. I mean, it's not your dinner time. So he's going to cast mage armor on himself. And there's like this protective magical force surrounds him. 
So yeah, I think that will be his turn. So that brings us to Burdock. All right. Fuck him up. So this shit is personal. I'm going to take out my short sword. I'm going to look this wizard dead in the souls, the, in the windows of his soul, right in his eyes. Mm -hmm. And be like, you took everything from me. Allow me to take what little I can from you. I'm going to try to plunge this short sword directly into his heart if I can. He's going to say, I don't even know who you are. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, sorry, wrong thing. Wait, was yeah, it the right thing? Okay. Yeah. Oh, I thought it did the damage roll. Okay, cool. Nice. In your face, wizard. Yeah. That'll hit. Yeah. In your face, uh, wizard. <laughs> oh, I also... I meant to Hunter's Mark before I got all dramatic. Is that a thing I can still do? Um, is that it's for... A, it's a... Like, yeah, is that for bow and arrow stuff, or is that for... It says... Attacks as well. It says with I a weapon remember. attack. Okay. Yeah. And it is a bonus action, so you can, yeah. Okay, cool. So I'm gonna do that as well. Nice. Okay. Wait, do I still need to roll do damage that. for the actual short sword itself? I believe yeah. so, yeah. Yeah, so like Sydney said, if you click where it says short sword, it should pop up. Okay, okay, we got it. Oh, in the in the in the roll. Oh yeah, chat. in the box, in like in the chat thing where like it's highlighted. Yeah, there you go. Seven. Norse. Wait, where did it come up? It's I just there. There's got the. It, for some reason, it rolled it again. But. It's four and three. Yeah, so it's 21 to hit, and then it's three damage from Hunter's Mark. Right. And, and then four the... for the Pierce. Oh, okay. The nine was just a reroll. Oh, he... I see. Okay. Yeah, it didn't specify where he was supposed to click it. Okay. That brings us to a Shay. <clears throat> oh, I'm just going to try and beat his ass again. Oof. Uh, Do we you, still... you have advantage. Yeah. Oh, there it is. Yep. Yeah. Oh, there it is. Um. All right. Can I? No, uh, I don't want to touch that. <clears throat> yeah, that that'll do. Mm hmm. Yeah. Not bad. Not bad. Ooh. Yeah. All right. Let's rock and roll. Managed to get through his magical shield. That will bring us to Nathea. We're going to bonk again. All right. Give her. Get him. Yeah. Nice, nice. I believe that will hit. Yep. Ooh, there you go. I did more damage. Without critting. <laughs> you yeah. almost did, you almost did oh my more God. damage there than both your crits. <laughs> yep. Hilarious. Okay. Ooh. Pretty rough. These, like, you fools, you have no idea what you're doing. And that brings us to Narek. <laughs> jo joke's on you, pal. I don't care. <laughs> Gonna, gonna offer him the obligatory chance to to give himself up. Mm -hmm. Um, I think. Let's see. I'll be right back, but mm -hmm. keep going. Yeah, he'll he'll be having he'll be like holding his staff, looking around, seeing him surrendered, and then just kind of 
rests his staff to the side and is like, Very well. You can. You have me at a stalemate. Well struck. I'd like to take his glass staff away from him. Set him to bed or something. You wouldn't part an old man from his walking stick, would you? Oh, hell yeah, I would. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> shatter that thing. I've seen that movie before. <laughs> but don't shatter it, because I think we might need to present that to the bandits up top. Okay. Yeah. So he's like, very well. Bring me in. I am your... I'm at your mercy now. Well, I suggest you start speaking, sir. And please, spare no detail. We have a lot of time. Well, by all means, what, whatever would you like to know? Well, I feel like we should start with this higher power that you're speaking of, that you're working for. Well, I know him only as the Black Spider. And he's managed to set me up with this group of misfits and ruffians to you know keep the population of this town under control the bugbear um yeah from the uh the cave that you were at earlier were also sent to help along the way and um yeah we are in search of a certain cave a certain cave that i am sure you are also well aware of by now is the nothic there giving you something hey oh that pathetic little creature i've just been feeding him townsfolk to in order for a safe passage through his little uh, crevice of decay and the bandits upstairs, you speak for them as well? Oh yes, they all answer to me. Erdak just like thumbs his bowstring very anxiously. What exactly can you tell us about the pitiful creature out there? It's just a a Nothic. Just run of the mill little magic creature that feeds on it's attracted to magic uh, auras and feeds on the flesh of the dead or the living if desperate enough really quite pathetic it really pest really um but uh very easily bought I it's just the simple matter of promising him a steady flow of flesh and uh yeah, we pay each other no mind anymore. So this cave you're referencing, is this, this is out of character quickly? Yeah. Is this a cave we should actually know about or is this something like... Yeah, this is the one that um, Gundren and them were looking oh. for. Oh, okay, yeah, 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 okay. Scratch that the last then. Sorry, uh, you won't ask that, or? No, no, if we already, like, because if we already kind of, like, connect the dots, there's just... Yeah, really I think, yeah, you probably... I can, I can remember what you're... Mm -hmm. No, that's fair, yeah. Yeah, no, there's, um, the Lost mine that uh, uh, Gundren was after but then right, yeah. it seems that other people may also be after it for other means so I guess my question for you wizard how can we trust that you will leave this town alone if we let you go Oh, I, um, 
I am more than happy to oblige any... I am a perfectly model in your... I am in your um, captivity. You have me prisoner. I will do what you will. All right, security's gonna rough you up on the way out. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so. What do you know of this yes. black spider? Is it actually a spider? No, no, that's just, again, another code name. He's, uh, I believe he's a drow fellow, but, uh, I have not, haven't met him either, but they mostly just communicate through, um, just mess like, uh, you know, messages through correspondence and the like. And the, the creature out there in the cavern, does it have a name? Didn't think to ask. It's just simply a Nothic. Okay. Figured as much. I'd like to know more about this correspondence you have with this spider. Is it simply through letters? Yes, this is where I conduct most of my business. This is the task that I was assigned to. I was told to keep an eye out for uh, your dwarf friend passing through and uh, deliver the maps to him. And... Um, And yeah, I, um, any other um, people that were seen with him or aiding him in any way were to be killed. Unfortunate for you. Mission not accomplished. Yeah. So. Here's how I see this playing out for you, wizard. We will turn you over to the townsfolk. They will deal with you however they see fit. Clearly your operation here, as I told you before, can no longer stand. The creature, however, in the cavern next to us, is under the impression that we will feed you to him. To it. So, mm. if there's anything you feel we should know about it before, that happens. I think now would be a good time. Before we can turn you over to him, it makes no difference to me. They are not to be trusted. They are easily swayed. I should know he would be foolish enough to betray me and fall in line with someone else. It makes no difference. Very well. So out of character is kind of what I'm thinking. It's like, I'll go show his staff to the bandits, tell him to disperse. Because clearly we beat him. Mm -hmm. And then we should kill that fucking thing. And then we should turn him over to the townspeople. Yeah, good by me. I would love to feed the wizard to the monster, but that's just me. Listen, you guys. He deserves the it. wizard. He can roast the townspeople. We don't have anything that will anti his magic. That's fair. He had the audacity to keep this thing as a slave in his little cavern and couldn't even name it or ask the name. I say we feed it to him. It was more of a mutual... No, 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 I have no desire to turn you over to the authorities. You're dying today. Interesting. 
I'll high five Erdoc. <laughs> Such hostility. I've seen the damage and the destruction that is left in your wake, and it's not going to continue anymore. Oh, merely. If there was an open here. fire in this room, I would throw you into it for what I've seen. I mean, Fandolin's not that bad. We've just been roughing them up a little bit. You have nothing to do with the bandits that have been going around burning churches? Churches? Was there a was there a church in Fandolin that they burned down? I was, was not aware. There's got to be somebody else leading. Like, is there a, a lieutenant to the bandits? Is there like a middleman? Did you not realize what they were doing out there? I mean, there's the, the black spider, but he, I'm pretty sure it's just, just us. Unless, what? Where do you, where do you hail from? Where, where? What church do you speak of? The Church of Uthor in the woods outside of Neverwinter. Your bandits burnt it to a crisp. And I was the only uh, survivor. Ah, uh, I see you're referring, of course, to Uther's Call. The town just outside of Neverwinter. Yes, yes. Ah. Uh, that would explain why they... Why the Black Staff or the Black Spider was so intent on my bandits wearing red. I think he's in line with... Uh, some other wizards. I don't think I'm the only wizard that he has in his web of spies this spider has spun. I think there may be some other wizards out there. Some perhaps red wizards. Perhaps I let the embers of my anger burn too deeply. I'm not sure if you're the man that I'm looking for. Companions, whatever you want to do with this man, feel free, but... Seems we're both fooled by this black spider. I I think he means to use your anger to snuff me and my bandits out as a way of tying up a loose end of his web. I think, I think the real culpr culprits against your heinous act may be the red wizards of Thay, I believe, are... The ones that you might be mm. your true target. Wait, so there are red wizards? What are you? What color are you? What, are, uh... <laughs> what, what color are you? <laughs> Which wizard are oh you? God, you, can't ask. you can't just ask wizards what color they are. <laughs> <laughs> Which hue of the rainbow are you, sir? <laughs> um, he's. I mean, like, it's kind of like. Like, the Wizards of Thay just always wear red. It's not like there's, you know, like, okay. you know, the, yeah, like the white wizard so or like the gray. This guy, apparently, he doesn't have any apparent, like, wizardly distinction. Nothing uh, obvious to the be, common person. Uh, I would say make a history check. Oh, maybe. shit. Wow. All right, hold let's, on. Let's just see. <clears throat> yeah, so you don't really. Oh, oh no. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> yeah. You... Was, that a, was that a universal history check or just for him? Um, it was mostly just for him because he's he's the one talking to him. Hmm. Okay. Um, yeah, I was like, um, yeah, you can't really tell from his robes. Maybe he's like hiding it a little well or something and, but you don't really, and maybe like, you know, being not too into civilization and never winter and stuff like that more in the forest, you don't really pick up on like the, yeah, the, yeah. the, the norms and like the, the dress codes of like uh wizards and stuff like that so you can't really tell unfortunately i'm just flabbergasted that there are red wizards out there 
I didn't know that they came in shades. Are you saying this in character or out of character? Just I'm saying this. I'm. It's just kind of remarking out loud in character. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, oh yes, they are a most powerful group, not to be trifled with. I believe the most just thing to do is to turn this wizard over to uh, the townsfolk under heavy guard. So no funny business happens, if you know what I mean. But I would like to I think that we should show his staff to the mercenaries of the bandits upstairs. Let them know that they're no longer welcome here. Yeah, I don't know what to believe anymore because I was ready to murder this guy. And apparently he's not the one I'm looking for. <laughs> What a twist. I'm just like, yeah, whatever you guys think, because I'm like, I need to take a moment. I'll walk him out as if I'm leaving him out, and then I'm going to push him in the pit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh damn. Yeah, is that, is that what we're doing? We, uh, uh kind of like... That. Yeah, yeah I mean... She does, I, thought, I would like to... Like, did he confirm, or do, like, do I know that sort of lead, this leads upstairs somewhere? Um... No, I don't think so. No, you didn't really gather that from anyone. No, because it looks like I was flooring. And where are you going? Um, I like to open this door. Okay, okay. Um, let's see. Alrighty, so yeah, you want to open that door? <laughs> yes, but less comfortably than I did a second ago. <laughs> no. Yeah. So, opening the door, there's three large stone sarcophagi that stand within this dusty crypt. Um, propped up against each sarcophagus is a human skeleton clad in bits of rusty mail. False columns along the walls are carved in the image of spreading oak trees. And there's uh, double doors in the southeast corner are sheathed in a tarnished copper plate. Um, and yeah, as soon as you kind of open the door, the skeletons start to like crack and like okay, here we go. Kind of <laughs> slowly like crickly you hear all like the bones cracking as they stand to their feet and like kind of swaying as they're uh yeah turn to see an intruder coming into their into the door and, uh, yeah. Guess, um... Where is it? <laughs> oh. Like, I I will follow after I dumped the wizard. Where did I put me? There are answer notes. <laughs> <laughs> or I thought you were going with the, with the wizard. Oh, yeah. And then I push him in the hole. And then... Yeah, I wasn't sure what was happening down. first, but I want to see this happen, so I'll be over oh, here. Okay. <laughs> so I'll take on to the Gothic, like, uh, here's your wizard, as fresh as can be. 
All right. And then Shay, where were you? Oh, Microsoft. <coughs> let's uh, let's do one of these guys. Because <laughs> I didn't really commit to either. All right. <laughs> Okay. So. Let's see here. Yeah, there is one there. Alrighty. So we got some silly boys. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I'll get everybody to roll initiative. I meant to mention earlier, though, I'm really glad that we, we held the lizard to his only spell being mage armor. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, surely I'll get one or two spells in. Yeah, because I could have got ugly otherwise. <laughs> <laughs> okay so skeleton numero dos is gonna do like a 5 10 15 up to the door and oh, I wonder who he's gonna hit <laughs> give you the old hold the door now, if I do that, does that work? Right, so 13 to hit, which probably doesn't. No, it misses. Excellent. That brings us to Nethea. Okay, one sec. <laughs> okay. I'm going to face step to there. <clears throat> So are you not pushing the wizard in? I already pushed the wizard like, in. I thought I already pushed the wizard in. kind of like happening at the same time. Oh, okay. Yeah. We kind of split the, the party in. here a little. I pushed the wizard in. All right. Uh, make a strength check. Okay. Are you for real? Uh-oh. Oh, my God. Oh, no. Um, let's see how he does. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> well, I'm no expert. He, he rolled a one. He has a minus one. He rolled he a one. A he has a minus one. That's he has a amazing. negative strength. Wizards are not strong. Clearly, <laughs> so, like clearly, he just fell in on his own. He rolled on nothing. Like, <laughs> you, like you didn't even have to touch him. You just kind of like blew at him and like. <laughs> It, it gave him a stern stare. Off on its own. <laughs> and then it is a 20 foot drop, which is like already 2d6. Um, that's two, <laughs> 99 Magoo. Which is, yeah, that's enough to actually kill him. He only had like four oh, health shit. left. And then, yeah, so he actually like 
Does it get in, it gets pushed back, screams as he falls down into the darkness, and then just you hear like a sickening flat and just no more noise. And then after a while, you kind of hear the slow chattering and chittering and rocks grinding and as uh, something crawls closer to the uh, base of underneath the bridge. And uh, yeah. I always make good on my promises. Yeah, wonder what happens. <laughs> now I'm I, I have no idea. <laughs> face step is a bonus action. So I'll Excellent. face step to here so that cool. I can um, run in on my next turn. Excellent. That brings us to Shay. Oh, all right. Um, uh, oops. Um, <clears throat> gonna try and hit this guy with my longbow. And that'll do it. Hey, Evan. All right. All right. He takes a arrow off of his rib cage bones. It uh, definitely hits and makes like a very rusty old like bone cracking sound. Definitely does some damage, but it's still standing. And that brings us to Erdok. Oh yeah. I'm gonna try to get as close as I can. Yeah, and you should be able to squeeze in there. All right. I think I'm out of my hunter's mark, so I'm just going to shoot with my longbow. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah, yeah, Dang, girl. Time for five damage. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, so four damage. Uh, It didn't roll. Or did it not? Or It didn't roll the double. Oh, I see. Right. Okay. So you can roll another D8, Ben. Okay. Without like the bonuses and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. So just a D8. Yeah. Nice. Hell yeah. So yeah, that one goes down. Just kind of like dusty old rib cage just cracks and implodes on itself as the rest of the bones all collapse and fall down into a pile at the floor. And uh, yeah, that one's down. That brings us to an Eric. Yeah, I'm gonna step into the room to here. And we're going to attack the skeleton. It's right in front of me. Excellent. Yeah. Yeah, that'll do it. Yeah. Eleven. Not bad, not bad. So yeah, he takes a real big hit across the chest, but Still standing, but just barely see like chunks of bones are missing and not really sure how it's still standing, but yep, yeah, it's, it's hanging on there. And that brings us to the one that you just attacked. So it will try to answer. And with its short sword. Oh, yikes. 
It was uh, very weakened by that blow and uh, rolled terribly and can barely lift its arm to scratch you. And <laughs> completely went. Wow. Oh, wow, he's just like me for real. <laughs> <laughs> and that brings us to three. Yeah, three. Have a go, three. Um, I'm going to take a step up. And then it'll actually take a shot at Erdok down the hall there <laughs> with its what? short bow. Oh, shit. How dare. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no, so it turns out you need um, muscles to uh, work weapons. <laughs> <laughs> Not just bones. Oh, my God. Can I run like credit on like their first three attacks? <laughs> and and that the one so that brings us to Nathea. Okie dokie. Yeah, Nathea, I think we actually got this. <laughs> Seems like it's going okay. Kidding. That wasn't in character. Shit. Um, I yeah, that's what you here. think. <laughs> Yeah, so I can't actually get to a empty square. So we'll go here. And um, have either of these two enemies taken damage? Yes, the one in front of Narek. Okay, may I have a wisdom saving throw? Ooh, okay. What do we got? What do we got? Uh... Better not roll another fucking 20 or I will lose my shit. Uh-oh, I'll try not to. <laughs> Uh, okay, well, that's not a cool. 20, but cool. it's still better than I can do. Okay. She's not going to lose her shit, though. So we're I'm sorry. Good. I'm sorry. Please don't be mad at me. I'm not mad at you. I'm <laughs> mad at the dice card. And so that brings us to Shay. <laughs> I got distracted by the die rolling across the screen. Um. Gonna try and squeeze my way through here. No, try and take this guy down. All right. Come on, grapefruit. Oh, I was so close to being a nat twenty. I <laughs> was really close. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that just hits. Excellent. <laughs> Oh yeah, he's he's, he's gone. Done. You just cave him in. <laughs> Another one. It's just... I think he's almost done. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's done. <laughs> Wang. Yeah, he's done. Just poofs into a cloud of dust. Skull like gone. And uh, yeah, that one is uh, now dust. So that brings us to Erdok. Hell yeah. Who conveniently has a perfect shot? Yeah, the last I'm one. just going to shoot that one with my longbow. But you planned all along. <laughs> oh yeah, it's all coming together. I'm gonna your dog's playing fucking the 40 chess. <laughs> We're all playing checkers. I'm going to knock this arrow before I do that. I'm just gonna give a tender little kiss to the arrowhead. Ooh, I like it. <laughs> Thirteen will just hit. And for six damage. Bang. It's still hanging on, but uh, yeah, no, definitely truck true. That's and true. It's all in the wrist. Brings us to Narek. I'm going to move up behind this one. And I'm going to hit it with my sword. Give him the old roll dodge. All right, yeah, that'll. Sword. Okay, okay. Oof. He is just hanging on there. He's taking some damage from both sides and is looking real battered and weak. And now that brings us to our skelly boyfriend there. So he will attack. 
Neric. Yeah, that or... makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> Probably smart. Yeah. Uh, I would smart. All right. And that will be. So it's going to switch to its short sword. And. <laughs> Jock. Oh. Oh. It's like <laughs> completely just being attacked on all fronts. It's gets on, fucking weak. <laughs> hanging on by a thread and yeah, just goes wide. It's, I, like to, I like to imagine it's like the the comedy thing where it's like like swiping at me, just have a hand on its forehead. Like shut me. <laughs> that brings us to Nathea. Okay. Why? Two, three, four, five. I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna bonk him. Excellent. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Seven ten. Oh yeah. You just like cave its skull into its rib cage and the rest just crumbles into the dust. E day Hell yeah. You gone. And yeah, them's them's those skilly boys taken care of. Bye bye, skilly boys. It's long to be out, so, out of character. I just want to reiterate, I was trying to find them where the bandits were to like tell them that they're done. <laughs> this was oh, I know, I know, <laughs> no, it was just for everyone else in the group in case they didn't were paying attention. Now we got it. <laughs> they wanted to be just this is where I, I meant to go, but. You know yeah, what? Not they want to be space monsters. Men. That's okay. It happens. It's D and D for you. But, mm -hmm. What if? <clears throat> do we necessarily have to go upstairs and look for them, or could we just plant that little staff in front of their little bar and send the same message? I mean, well, the staff went down with the wizard. You guys. No, I took it off. Yeah, no, he yeah. grabbed the staff. Yeah, and Eric actually did. He did say that. Mm -hmm. Good. Um, so, I mean, whatever. We don't have to like find out how to get up to them. We could just tell them to take it to the front door now. It's, it's but there okay. might be clues in here that tell us where that cave is that yeah. no one knows where to find. Whatever it. gets yeah. us closer okay. to Black Spider is what I'm most interested in. Hmm. So, if they know right. upstairs. Maybe that right. would be better. Otherwise, I have no idea where this cave is. I doubt. I would doubt they know. If this guy didn't really know, I doubt they would. We can poke around down here, but it's not before we leave. We should disband the bandits. Oh, or at least show them. At least show them that we killed the wizard and like we're in charge now. Oh, we are in a go go now. Um, so you said there's a door here and a door, a double door here? Yeah. Can yes. Exits are north, south, and Dennis. <laughs> <laughs> um, I do it. It's 9 p.m. for me. Yeah. Which is fine. I can keep going a bit, but um, do we want to like call it here? This seems like a pretty safe space to do that. Yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking. Then if okay. you guys wanted to say yeah. that you're like, um, I'll give you like one more thing, just like a little. Um, I know uh, cliffhanger. No, like another like cl just like one little more clue cliffhanger thing for next time. So like okay. saying that you, you know, dealt with these skeletons and like maybe you're like, um, from dealing with the wizard, you have found. Um, I think it is this. It is. I think now in all of your journals and I think does that bring it up onto your yeah. screen now? Yeah. So there is this note that you found uh, as part of the correspondence in um, the um, glass staff's um, office there. Guys, I think I'm going to be fighting Spider-Man. <laughs> Spider-Man. That's good to know, though. Yeah. All like, right. 
what is um yeah what's the plan for next one what are you guys gonna do well this is a dungeon and we're playing a game called dungeons and dragons so now so you just need to kill the dragon i think that yeah. we need to continue in the dungeon you guys we found the dungeon yeah, now so we find so the dragon so you want a dragon the wall i i think we need to find uh, more clues and uh yeah we should uh clean out this little little dungeon we got going on here yeah so this this was sort of my plan I was like i was gonna go like make the bandits disperse but because we found like other rooms and there are like other clues we need to find out i think we should do that first mm -hmm. yeah yeah i mean with erdak like his main goal like he's obsessed with finding whoever's responsible like now it's the black spider mm -hmm. but like any you know any red bandits that we can disperse along the way he's ha very happy to do so i guess my only thing is like is it better for like the town to like disperse the bandits first and then look around down here I don't really first, think like, that we're going to be down here long enough for it to really matter either way. Yeah, I don't really either. It just depends like how often they go out and like... I like, it's probably still fairly early in the day, I would think. Yeah, well, I think we should probably just go through the dungeon because we're going to find the bandits yeah. when we go through the dungeon anyway, so... It makes sense to me. Yeah, we should probably clear this place out. Sure. Okay. Good to know. All right. Yeah, we could probably call it there for tonight. All right, fam. I'll talk to you all yeah. later. Thanks for coming. Good today. night. And thank, and thanks, yeah. Aki. For thank you, Aki. Yeah, thanks, guys. I thought we got to put an episode in. Good session. Like